singing commercials are very beautiful and all, but they don't pack enough wallop, you know. Besides, what would become of me? If I didn't have this to say. Yes, it's the blending of those 33 fine brews that gives Pat's Blue Ribbon always the same light, mellow taste, the same clear, appetizing color, the same real beer flavor from barrel to barrel, from bottle to bottle, from year to year. Remember, there's just one and only one blended, blended Pat's Blue Ribbon. 33 fine brews blended into one great beer. 33 Harry, when I get my net worth, the first thing I'm going to do is to revolutionize the daytime cereal. Well, Eddie, what type would you use on your network? Well, all the daytime programs deal with women's problems. Mine will deal with the problems of a man. I call it Just Plain Giuseppe, the story of one man's battle against the stork. <laughs> Giuseppe Bacicalupi. I'm a live alone with my wife and 29 kids. Some alone. We are very happy in our comfortable one-room flat until one day the landlord, he's come, open them up my door and he say, Giuseppe, you and your family will have to move out of this apartment immediately. You're behind seven months rent. Please, Mr. Landlord, I needed the money to send my oldest boy, Junior, here to school. I'm just an electrician. All the time I'm working with electricity. Oh, you're an electrician? Is this your oldest son? Yeah, he's my first shock. <laughs> That's the one of my pops the joke. <laughs> You've got too many people living here anyway. Giuseppe, how many children do you have? Oh, Mr. Landlord, I got a smaller family. Wait, I checked the latest score. I got a kid named Luke, then this pig. Next comes a coronet. After her is the twins. Field and stream. And then there's a quarter play. She's a born in the lobby of Brahma's Chinese. <laughs> then comes a cosmopolitan. Wait a minute. Why do you name your kids after magazines? Every time I'm a turn around, huh? a new issue. <laughs> That's to me, the woman's a home companion. And now I'm afraid that the face of my wife. Why? She's expecting a little reader's digest in the June. <laughs> But I'm in love with my kids, all 29 of them. I'm gonna never forget what everybody said when my oldest boy here was a born, this one here. Oh, my boy, what did everyone say when you were born? That's the one of my pops, the joke. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Giuseppe, but I'm gonna have to evict you. Oh, please, Mr. Landlord, you don't throw a veteran out of your house. You're no veteran. You're not wearing a proud eagle on your lapel. On my lapel, I'm wearing a tire of stalk. Look, please. <laughs> no make of me the eviction. My wife is in a hospital right now. All day long, I'm taking care of the kids. It's a big job to give the bath to 29 kids at one time. You bathe 29 children at one time? I mean, how do you do it? I pile up all the kids in my car. I'm driving the car to the gasoline station. I'm going to say to the man, wash the car. But how does that give your kids a bath? I'm going to leave the windows open. <laughs> But once I'm having a little trouble, one of the kids is a hide under the car. Well, what happened? Before I could find him, he's got a grease job and a change of oil. <laughs> well, I don't care about your troubles. You'll have to get out. Oh, but my wife, she's in the maternity hospital right now. If you don't believe me, call him my doctor. His name is Watigan. Watigan? What kind of a name is that? I don't know, but every time I call him up, I say, this is Giuseppe. He say, what again? <laughs> Oh, yeah. If you fail, 
Harry Bonzel is standing by to swap you down with a stream of water. Uh, Are you ready with the seltzer, Harry? Aye, aye, sir. Seltzer? What? Now, here's your question, Ralph. Go easy. What device developed by the United States Navy makes it possible to look through the thick steel hull of a battleship? What? Uh, oh, radar. No? Uh, Portholes. Swap the man down, Harry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What?
So, folks, please pitch in tomorrow, won't you? And return those empty bottles. Remember, the more bottles, the more blended, splendid Pat's Blue Ribbon. All day today in Hyde Park, New York, thousands of men, women, and children have filed reverently past the shrine and looked upon an inscription which reads, Born January the 30th, 1882, died April the 12th, 1945. For this is the 65th anniversary of the birth date of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And this is the shrine where now he sleeps, forever with the immortal. But there is another shrine where Franklin Roosevelt lives with the living, with tiny boys and girls who find in his memory and achievements the inspiration to go on and overcome the obstacles of twisted limbs, to triumph over the ravages of infantile paralysis, this shrine in Warm Springs, Georgia, and in similar places all over the country, is a testimonial to man's humanity to man. You created it, ladies and gentlemen. You, at his request, started the March of Dimes so that little children might walk. Let us dedicate ourselves to the perpetuation of that cause. Let us honor the dead by serving the living. Keep those dimes rolling. Keep our children walking. Give, and keep right on giving. Thank you.